Hi, I'm Sabrina Troback with Troback Holistic Counseling. Every week I'm bringing you a video around anxiety. This week what I'd like to talk about is anxiety and the impact it has on our body. If you remember from last week, we talked about how anxiety is when our body senses danger, we go into what's called that fight, flight, freeze response. So we don't really wanna get rid of anxiety because part of what it does is keep us alive. But for many people, they're going into this fight, flight, freeze response many, many times a day. Every time we worry about something, we what if something, we create an unsafe scenario, our brain goes through that fight, flight, freeze response, even though we may not be in real danger. So when we go into this fight, flight, freeze response, what happens is a hormone called adrenaline gets dumped in our body. Adre adrenaline gives us that boost of energy so that we can get ready to fight or to run away from a situation. So if this happens once in a while, when there's real danger, our body can adjust to it and handle it fairly well. But if this is happening hundreds to thousands of times a day, it has a massive impact. What happens is this energy can't just magically appear. It has to come from somewhere. So all of our non-vital organs, bladder, bowel, immune system, endocrine system, pancreas, stomach, liver, kidneys, all of our non-vital organs are zapped so that we can get the energy to fight or run away. We hear about things like irritable bowel syndrome, uh, stomach issues, um, gluten-free uh, food allergies, asthma, all kinds of different medical, con medical conditions that are becoming more and more and more significant. A part of this is connected to anxiety. If your stomach is being zapped of energy 100 times a day, we shouldn't expect it to digest food properly. What also happens though, is we're having a chemical called cortisol that's being dumped into our brain. Cortisol is a toxin, it's a poison. What happens is the fight, flight, freeze response is in a small part of our brain called the amygdala. That little piece of the brain can't compete with the big brain. Big brain's gonna win every single time. So what happens is cortisol stops our brain from thinking. When we have high levels of cortisol in our brain, our ability to use logic and reason, understand consequences, connect to emotions, sequence events, memory are all gone. All we can think about is, do I run, do I hide, do I fight? We also know that high levels of cortisol over a significant period of time leads to things like attention deficit, learning disabilities, and focus issues. So high levels of cortisol have a very, very significant impact. I also wanna talk with you a bit about a strategy today. A strategy that works very well for anxiety is breathing. What we wanna do is take nice deep breaths, breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth. When we exhale, we wanna relax our shoulders and just let those muscles loosen. Research has shown that breathing for three to five minutes actually stops cortisol from being dumped into the brain. So breathing can be a very helpful tool in actually stopping that fight, flight, freeze response from happening. Now, three to five minutes may sound like a really long time, so you don't have to start with that. Start with something small, a few breaths. Maybe it's three or four breaths. Maybe it's deciding you're gonna do some breathing when you're washing your hands, when you're having a bathroom break. Slowly increase small times in your day where you're breathing. This over a long period of time will significantly help your anxiety. That's all I have for this week. I will see you next week. Take care, stay safe.